Hey, what's going on, YouTubers and YouTubies? I got um, five licks for you guys to practice on. Um, so we're going to jump right in. And this first one's kind of got a couple, like, double step kind of things. So uh, here, I'm going to play it for you guys quick. I'm going to give you a couple tips. And I'm going to play it slow and break it down for you guys. All right, so here's the first lick number one. All right, guys, so as you can see, it ends on a D chord. Um, a couple things, um, the bending and whatnot. I always start off on my first two fingers. So you're going to be able to need to switch back and forth between the pick and your fingers, hybrid pick it. Um, and another thing is just think about the part where it's one finger you're going to be on the G string but you're going to be playing those two chords uh, with the pick on the G and your finger on the B plucking at the same time so there it is so once again slow All right, guys, so here's lick number two. It's going to be more of a pedal steel lick, so more bending. All right, so again, I'm using kind of both fingers to pluck, in, uh, pluck instead of just... Uh, Plucking down with the strings, I like to use my ring finger and my middle finger. Or the pick and my middle finger. So those are the main kind of variations here on that one. And you're basically just walking this. It's almost like a... almost starts off as like a pentatonic kind of scale. So you got your... But you're bending them up. So, um, this one's kind of straightforward. This is uh, probably one of the easier, slower ones to do. It definitely takes practice to make it sound good. So, it's a good one to practice if you're playing mellow stuff. But um, here it is slow. All right, lick number three. I'm going to do a quick little kind of country bluegrass kind of lick right here. I'll just throw it in real quick. So this one's, you know, mostly playing with your middle finger, and that's kind of the trick to it. Um... Again, with the chicken picking or alternate picking, hybrid picking, whatever you guys call it. So, uh, here it is slow. Guys, lick number four. So this one, it's you're gonna start off in A, and it's kind of like a bluesy kind of country lick. So you're kind of gonna just claw your hand. So you're kind of gonna have that kind of uh, just like down with the pick, up with the fingers, down with the pick, up with the fingers kind of motion, and then you were just gonna have this bendy kind of part again, down on. Um, the fifth and the fourth fret being the G string. So here it is slow. All 
All right, guys. So you made lick five. This is going to be a kind of uh, quicker um, or heavier kind of like country lick. Here it is. <laughs> So this one, it's it's got a lot of the same influences on the other uh, looks I got for you guys to practice. It's just got more of that kind of uh, rhythmy, percussiony sound to it. Like the main thing out of this, it's cool because you mute in the string with your middle finger right on the third fret, right on the fret, not just above the fret, and just very lightly until you get that kind of screeching. So here it is slow. Alright guys, so there's a couple things I wanna run down. Um now that you guys made it through these five licks. Um Basically, I um, just want to talk about the gear. I'm using a Fender 60th uh, Anniversary Fender Telecaster. Um, I'm playing a Fender Hot Rod uh, Deluxe, 40 watt. Um, and I got a Tube Screamer, the Vintage Reissue, and um, Aquapus uh, Analog Delay Pedal on this. So... Those are the only kind of effects I have on it, so, I mean, it's, you know, not all about the facts, and you could definitely practice this with or without an amp, but a lot of country, it's got that kind of a delay, that slap back delay, so the settings are set pretty low on the delay and the distortion, the or the tube screamer, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, definitely tune in next time.